This is Jeff and we're going to talk a little bit about the closed captioning workflow with Premiere Pro. To do closed captioning, you're going to need one piece that doesn't come actually with the Adobe Toolset, which is something that will generate either an MCC file or an SCC file. These items are the actual closed captions themselves. You can hire an outside service to do this, or you can use a piece of software like Mac Caption on the Mac or Caption Maker on the PC. There's a number of pieces of software that do this, but the whole idea is that you have to actually have somebody, a human being, go through and generate all the cap closed captions. Once this is actually generated, these files, they're very, very tiny. They're, they're just the text and the time code that they come up, and when they go off screen, the rest of it's pretty simple in a Premiere Pro workflow. With this being generated, all I'm going to do is take some a very complex sequence. You can see the sequence here. Happens to have a lot of audio tracks, music. I'm going to go ahead and play a little bit. More powerful than the body. So I can control the elements of my mind? All you're going to need to do is create a sequence and nest your finished sequence. So I'm just going to nest it in here so it's one video track, one audio track. With it nested, I'm going to go up to the clip menu and I'm going to choose, sorry, I'm going to go up to the sequence menu and I'm going to choose closed captioning attach file. And I can pick either of them. I'll pick the MCC because this is a high def show. I'm going to say OK. And by default, they won't be visible. You'll need to go to the panel menu of the program monitor and you're going to say here under closed caption display enable. There's some settings here to choose if you have multiple closed caption settings attached, but I'm just going to say enable. They immediately show up. I'm going to hit play. And the heart are infinitely more powerful than the body. So I can control the elements of my mind. And that's all there is to closed captioning. Take the file, attach it, and it'll be displayable on a television set.